Is that a snook? Is that a snook? How'd you do that? <laughs> Yo, so we got a video. <laughs> That's the flick of the wrist. Are you peanut butter and jelly? I'm peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Guys, Miami fishing all day, baby. Guys, comment below snook, and I'm going to heart your comment. Normally, you guys see me using the bait casters and stuff, but you know what? Let's go ahead and use a spinner today because I got some extra bait from the real hooker bait and tackle. All we do is uh, pop it to the bottom lip, to the top lip, just like that. Simple. Close that up so they don't jump out. And then uh, let me angle this back down. Just cast it out. I got the wind to my back, so that's good. I want to get out past that ledge that's out there um, you can see kind of where the ledge is over here where it's light then there's a drop so I want to get past that because that's where the fish ambush down here in these lakes with these big shelves so uh, hopefully uh, I can get onto a fish for you guys because I see a fish right here literally sitting in front of me Let's see if I can get this shiner in there I missed my cast Come on. Come on. Nice little peacock bass. Quick little first bite. Quick little first bite. Look at that. Miami, Florida fishing right there. Peacock bass. Let him get back in the water. They stay pretty strong, so he should swim off real quick. Just like that. Hey, let's go get another one. CEO Fishing is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. In today's episode, we're catching peacock bass and snook using a variety of different lures. First off, I'm using a fly lure with an ultralight BFS uh, bait casting setup to catch some peacock bass. And then I switched to this little cheap plastic uh, Amazon lure that I found uh, for peacock bass and some snook. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a fun episode, you know, a little update with the baby. It's going on two weeks now, it was what? I think it's two weeks. Time's kind of flying by and it's all blending together because we're still not able to sleep at night. My wife and I are up like literally every hour and a half to two hours and then another hour beyond that to, to get him to go back to sleep. So we're running on empty right now, but we're still making it happen. And I'm still trying to make some videos happen for you guys. So if you appreciate that and you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. This is my life right now, editing with the baby. Comment below, baby CEO, and I'm going to heart your comment. Comment below what can go wrong, and I will heart your comment. But in this next clip, guess what's gonna go wrong while we're trying to land this fish? I'm trying to get these views, filming other people's fish. Filming other people's fish. That's another thick one. This is a bump part, landing on it. Oh, I'll grab your feet. It's all about teamwork. You got one with the camera. One got to hold the feet. One got to land the fish. I'll lift you up when you have his gills. Or one catches him. It's a good workout, too. Good touch. Leader touch. Leader touch. Someone grab him. Someone grab him. Oh, grab him. Grab him. I'll grab your feet, too. Or I'll grab your. Oh, shoot. Grab him. Okay, now someone else. Hey, hey, Okay, okay, okay. Splash, just hold him tight. Hold him tight. Now, yeah, now, Brian, 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 can you grab no, the no, fish? I don't, I don't, oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> How not to land a fish. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay.
I, I think you scared the fish away. You had one job, land the fish. <laughs> the second they hit the water, the peacock bass and the large mouse just kind of got their attention. And like I said, the way it moved in the water and the shape, they were just crushing it all day. It's, got, it's jointed all the way down. It's got a little bit of weight. I think I can cast it out. I'm not sure, but we are going to find out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally just walked up and there was a whole school of peacocks right there. And I scared them because I'm a jerk. That's it right there. That's it. <laughs> On the freaking lure, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, not so quick. Not so quick. Not so quick. Not so quick. On a fly lure. Come on. He's fighting still. He's still fighting. Still fighting. Get in here. Let me get him in here in the gill because I don't want that hook in my thumb. Peacock bass on a fly lure. Love it. Love it. Now I want to try and get some more. Yeah. Nice fight, guy. Get you back in the water. Who's off? I thought I spooked them all away. I mean, I snuck up and I looked back and they were gone. So, man, let's, uh, Let's see if I can get some more. Oh yeah, let's get it out there. Oh, I'm on again. Another one, another one. <laughs> They're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. There's a whole school of fish fighting over this. I'm gonna have to put this GoPro in the water. This is a beautiful peacock bass, guys. This is another beautiful fish, another one. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Right there. Fly lure action all day. Let me not dip my rod in the water. Get this bad boy back in there. And we're off. This is my weapon of choice today. I like to rig this way because it kind of caters to my style of reeling and retrievals. So uh, let's see if I can catch a fish. Let's see. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, gotta tighten a little bit. I'm on. Oh, it's strong, it's strong, it's strong, it's strong. Oh, yeah, baby. I know what this is. I know what this is. A little snook. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love catching these things. All right, so the lure so far works pretty good. I'm gonna keep trying. But first, let's let him go and uh, get another one. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Another fish. Another beauty. Eh, this side doesn't look much better, but we'll give it a cast anyways.
guess what? Never guess what? Well, you guess. Just like that, another on the lure. It's the third snook to hit this lure. Second snook I landed. It's a little guy, but I love him all the same. Crushed it again. I'm gonna drop this back down there just in case there's another one. Try and tuck in his guts here. See if I can use them a little bit more. I got another snook. So all I'm gonna say is these little lures, at least for South Florida, for the areas that I fish, these lures right here, got the sauce they are ceo certified in my book because uh i hooked three snook landed two got a bunch of peacock bass got some scars to prove it i'm on i'm on yeah go snook 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 again it's bigger than my pb hey you want to get another one yeah let's go baby that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, again, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. But until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.